What's going on everyone? 4 and 3 Bows back with another video. Today we got an exciting one. I've uh, been in the need for fog light housings for my truck for quite some time. I'll show you them. But, what are we putting in? Boom! Diode Dynamics Elite Series. In. Yellow. So I've already opened this up. Took one of these off. Look at that, guys. Damn. Whoa, look at that. So, I am a JDM boy at heart. I got Jeeps and stuff like that, but I love me some yellow fog lights. So, what do we get? We get the fog lights, we get two wire harness pigtails that go to our one end, go to the fog lights, which is a Deutsch connector, and the other end is a connector to the OEM fog lights. And also, we have that male spade connector, and what that's for is the daytime running lights that comes with these so as you can see on the side of the box we get a nice amber glow so I'm gonna show you why I need fog lights and this is why I need new fog lights right there's some moisture right yeah that happens but come over at this one and yeah you don't even see the chrome paint in there anymore basically red there's no chrome left so this one looks like absolute trash so black friday sale these were 175 rock auto replacements were basically 105 dollars shipped for oem bullcrap that's on here these bulbs are three and a half years old so those crap out there's 50 bucks i'm at 150 why would i not just get these lights for 175 on sale and they come with an eight year warranty, so. All right, everyone, so I've got these fog lights installed. Super simple. Um, I didn't do a how-to like I was going to because it was like 26 degrees out. I started this last night, finished it this morning, and I said, you know what, this is easy. I'm just gonna explain it, so. Anyway, truck is running, and I got our parking lights on. These do have a really dull backlight. It's hard to tell, but if I put you up there, you can see it. I'm sure, at nighttime, they'll look good. I'll update that. So, I ran this one all the way over to here, and I cut the connector off and made my own little attachment. I'll put that pick here. All right, so I ran that one to this one and ran up this one all the way up and ended up going, I have my fuse boxes in here. It literally just goes up into the fuse box nicely and I didn't have to extend anything there. So that's super nice. I tapped into fuse F9 on my Nissan Frontier which is going to be these side lights here. So when those side lights get power, these are gonna turn on as well. Now, turn our headlights on and our fog lights, come back. See, now all of our lights are on. These things are ridiculous, right? So, middle of the day, it's like noon, you see, shining on my legs, super happy with them, I'll show you the construction, all the lights are off, as you can see we are no longer backlit, they fit in the housing quite well, very good quality construction, I'm very pleased, they do have 
kind of bigger mounting holes so you're able to kind of adjust them up and down and left to right and I did a pretty decent job um, I left the two screws yoop, let me flip you upside down I left these two screws out so that there is a removable zip tie what I'm going to do is night time I'm going to show you that it's going to be in the next clip what these look like and um, I'm going to take them to adjust the aim you guys are going to have to excuse the road noise but these suckers are wide it's it's pretty incredible So this is the center of the truck. You can see they're wide. They, you can't really tell on camera, but these things wing up really high on either sides. Like these things like almost double as ditch lights. They're that high. I'll see if I can try and find like a, a better road and show you guys how high they wing up on the sides but I mean you can see the just absolute razor cut off all right we're on a moderately lit road you can see how far these things are going these are fog lights guys it's wild hey look at this guys I'm gonna shift It's, they're amazing. I'm going up and down hills and stuff like that. This is a well lit road. You can just see how far these things throw. It, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, so we are at my local high school. And yeah, these lights are very impressive. I'm using some blankets to kind of block out the headlights. But what we did was we measured the from the middle of the fog light and if you look, see there's a line there, that's the exact middle of the fog light to the ground and it was 21 and a quarter inches. Truck is stock right now, so I know that's low. But 21 and a quarter, so I used this chart. This is the chart that I found online. It's in the description. I just use this to properly aim the fog lights, that way there we're not blinding oncoming traffic. To calculate where I needed to be, so we're 25 feet exactly from the truck to the wall, I know the blanket just came off, and went to the wall, measured 18 and a quarter inches, and we got them in line perfectly. So these look absolutely killer. Super happy with them. Super happy with them. I'll show you the just the amber feature. That looks super dope. Killer. Love that. Looks so good. Well, guys. I can't say enough about the uh, products Style Dynamics are making. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, man. Yo. Nice lights. Hey, thanks, brother. Hey, look at that. Later, guys.